Hello, I'm Keith Ford here at Brownells and welcome to another edition of From the Vault. And today I have my Czech VZ61 Scorpion. Now the VZ61 was a combination of several different elements put together by Czech engineers. Two in particular, uh, Miroslav Rybauer and Otkar Galash. Forgive my pronunciation of those two gentlemen. And they put their ideas together along with several other folks there at the uh, Institute and come up with this VZ61. Uh, the VZ is chambered in 32 ACP and is a purpose-built machine pistol. It's not a submachine gun that was downsized. It was from the ground up a machine pistol, much like the Russian Stechkin and the Polish PM63 rack. Uh, blowback operated, has a stock right here, 10 round magazine. And we will top eject, make sure that this is clear. Now what's cool about this is right here, we take this down, bring this forward, and then we will bring the bolt back and drop these two little cocking ears off. And there's our bolt and recoil springs. Now if you've ever had a AR-180 apart, or BRN 180, you'll notice that there's two recoil springs, much like this right here. Now the VZ61 uses a small telescoping bolt, which helps its compact size. And then the trigger group right here, which is honestly sort of like a small AR setup. Now this one right here is semi-automatic, so there's gonna be two major differences between this and the full. Full automatic select fire We'll have a kicker right here, which activates the trip. And then back here will be a rate reducer with a hook, which would grab into the back of the carrier, which would slow it down. But since this is not a select fire, we don't need those. So the reassembly is pretty simple. Drop this straight back in here. Line our little nubs up. Now the VZ61 will be in production from around 1961 to around 1979 and will be very popular with the Czech military for its compactness and would also be used by various other factions which would be the PLO, the Red Army faction, as well as the Irish Republican Army. And these guns got around the world quite a bit in various different conflicts. Uh, the Yugoslavian Farms manufacturer Zestava actually made a copy of these too. And so that kept spread them around the world. It's a really, really cool piece and probably one of my favorite little small sub guns. Uh, although it's 32 ACP, it's not a whole lot of firepower, but it's still, it's still really neat. Now the VZ61 was issued with the holster. The 10 round magazine would fit in, it came with two 20 round mags, the mag pouch, and, it was, and you could also get a uh, shoulder holster for these, which would made it pretty neat. Not quite as fun as the Select Fire, but still those semi-automatic SBR. And if you want one with the stock, be sure and fill out that Form 1. Uh, pay Uncle Sam that $200 so you stay in the clear with them. And then it's a lot better shooting it with the stock on it. It's worth the $200. So there you have it. Check VZ61, and if you have any questions or comments, be sure and drop us a line. Thanks for watching. Be sure to tune in again whenever we bring another gun from the vault.